Hi, I'm Joe, and today I'm going to choke on something different. This is episode 7. Welcome to Eats and Treats. Zombie Apocalypse. Alright, I'm glad you guys showed, to, showed up today. And why am I going to choke on something different? Because this time it looks like a chip, but pretzel crisp and this is made by snack factory and this is something new because usually with pretzels I mean they're like a type of chip but basically they're made of what bread right so uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up pretzel crisps take a whiff ah smells like it's been there forever with a hint of pretzel the pretzel <laughs> flavor so um, I mean, it just, maybe it's a special sealant lately, you know, it has a special grip on it and it kind of holds on to that kind of smell or odor or aroma. Not that it's bad and I'm not saying that it's been old, but I guess it's a compact of the crisps or chips, if you will, that's been, uh, you know, sealed. You know, lately I've been noticing that a lot of these bags of chips or crisps are well sealed, you know, really preserving the aroma and of course we'll find out about the taste. So I'm going to take out a crisp, a pretzel crisp and see how it looks. Alright so as you can see right it's uh, it looks like a pretzel it's kind of toasted cooked like a pretzel not with a dark brown aspect of it it has some I think some some, some sort of sesame seed on it and if you look to the side it's thin that's why it's called like and then we look at the back part of the, you know, the pretzel. Mm -hmm. Looks very interesting. All right. So it has a, a, a strong aroma, um, especially coming from the bag. You know, it does smell like pretzel, but uh, whatever other additives or whatever other preservatives they might add into it, kind of gives that strong aroma. And then it's afterwards that kicks in the pretzel. All right. So now. We're gonna go ahead and take a bite and see how we'll eventually evaluate it. Hmm. It has the light taste of a pretzel. It is lightly salted. It doesn't crumble too fast, even though it's thin. Let's pull out another one. You can see it's not as thick compared to other pretzels. I wish it had a little bit more salt, but then I kind of, you know, I do really enjoy the salt. And the sesame, you know, gives it extra that crunchiness and. Mm. Looking hard, I'm popping on the seeds. Now you might need a drink because usually with bread, pretzels, you need a drink because it is very dry. I like the crunchy part. It doesn't have that strong flavor of a traditional pretzel. I can see it as a way of uh, treating it like a tr uh, chip, even though it's a crisp. Well, I don't know what they're using because I know, like in Britain or in uh, Europe, they use the word crisp instead of chips. So I don't know. That's I'm assuming. Well, let me see where this is made up. It doesn't say where it's made. Let's see it, but. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So unless they just adopt the word, you know, to make it comp uh, a difference or make it a different compared to a chip. But usually the word crisp is used in Europe. Mm. Again, it doesn't have a strong flavor. Light to no salt. 
and technically, literally, it's a chip. Or a crust. <laughs> so, if I were to look at it, push them around, I would say, wow, it's thin. Lightly colored, sprinkle with seeds. Different. So, it says here that you can crunch them, crack them, dip them, and stack them. I wonder if you can play like a Press a form of Jenga. I think that, in my opinion, needs a little bit more flavor, a stronger flavor of a pretzel. Of a pretzel flavor, usually, you know, of course the other pretzels, they're thicker, maybe more bread involved. Party. You're gonna need a drink. It does dry up your mouth like a traditional pretzel. I made. I was expecting to choke on it, but I think that it gathers the moisture quickly. Softens the uh, pretzel crisp. Therefore, holds it together. So, if I were to rank it, one being the least and nine being the best. I would give it a seven. I would like more flavor of the pretzel. And this is not seasoned. You know, you can add some toppings, you can use it on, I guess, certain types of dips. But if it had a stronger flavor of the pretzel, uh, uh, I have no problem with sesame. It is lightly salty, so for those people that don't like salt or maybe want to stay away from the salt because of high blood pressure. That's the rating we'll give it. Everything else. The taste, the, the texture, the shape. As you can see here, I mean, it's, it's beautiful to tell the truth. I really, really, really enjoy it. I really like it. It's just, I wish it had a little bit more flavor. So, Again, this is made in the United States, North Carolina. Presto crisp. Again, borrowing, I guess, the European word for chips. I really enjoy it. I strongly suggest that you guys try this. You know, just make sure you have a drink, maybe a dip. I don't know yet if they have any with uh, other flavors, because this is the one that I found. I bought it. I think this is a type of chip where you want something light. It's not made out of corn, it's wheat, nor made out of bread. It has a light flavor of the pretzel. Like this salted. I think it's good. So, I would say go ahead and buy a bag. If you have a difference of opinion or a different idea or thoughts, go ahead and write it in your comments. You know, explain to us why you like it or not. I like to run. What do you guys think about the pretzel crisps? And again, crunch them, crack them, dip them, or snack them. With that being said, this is Joe signing off. Thanks for watching.